Atlas 0017 here with the deck profile for my Cyber Dragon OTK. It's quite consistent. I change it around a lot to do testings. All right, here we go. Of course, you got your Khmer Tech Over Dragon, you know, and Fortress Cyber Twin, Over Tech Number Cyber Twin, and two Cyber Ends, which you never really summon, but they're there to look cool. All right, of course, three Cyber Dragon. If you want to run this deck, you definitely need to run this. If you don't, you won't be successful. Alright, 3 Cyber Valley, because it's a good draw engine, and I do play 3 Machine Duplication. You summon him, Machine Dupe, you minus 2 from the deck, and then you draw 2. And sometimes you'll get Cyber and Cyber Dragon, and you'll special summon that, you'll summon that, Machine Dupe, and you'll minus 2 from deck, and draw 4. Alright, three armored Cybern. It's um kind of stalls for a turn at least, because it'll just flip it, two thousand defense, pretty solid. And it's attaching ability for Union to destroy any monster by your Cyber Dragon or Fusion losing a thousand attack. It's sometimes useful, it's not all the time. Alright. Three H gear cannon, because you machine dupe this guy, your opponent takes fifteen and they can't use traps during the battle phase. And that's pretty much the only use here. Alright, three Cyber Larva. Yeah, I'm proxying this guy right now <laughs> until I get the next one. But pretty much they attack that, you know, get another one, you do some stalling. Even though most of the spells are speed, the monsters are for stall. Alright, three Dakochi. I mean, not Dakochi, Heavy Mac, but I switch them out for Dakochi sometimes depending on what I need to do. Heavy Max, because you just attach that to something that's machine dupable, and it's three darks, which now comes to the dark armed. Because you'll play Future Fusion, you dump all these, you got three darks instantly. Someone that, you know, the bottomless, it, solemn, whatever, you know, it's just kind of bait. And if it does get off, you know, you'll clear the field for overload. Alright, three gold Sark, because getting Future Fusion to your hand is extremely important. And most of the time, I'll actually just get, like, Gold Sark in my hand, and then no, dr and all drawing cards, basically. But I'll play Gold Sark, and wait till I get Future Fusion, play Future Fusion, dump the deck, and then use the drawing cards to get the spells I need to win. Alright, three upstarts, because the plus 1,000 for them won't really matter when I get a huge monster out. Alright, three into the Void. Yeah, sure, I lose my hand at the end, but... Most of the time, I've already played my whole entire hand by that time, and it's another deck center. Alright, three hand destruction, you know, put machines in the grave, thin out the deck again. Alright, and then the three machine dupes, because every machine in there is doable, except for Cyber Dragon. And Future Fusion, if you don't play this, you won't win, basically. Because this will minus 18 the deck if you don't get any machines, basically, because I run 18 machines and then the Dark Armed. And that's key to cards, so always go for that first with your Gold Sarks. Dark Hole, another important card, because you need to clear the opponent's defenses, because Chimera Tech cannot keep attacking and then attack directly. Heavy Storm, you know, clear the back row, that's the most important part. Only two overloads, because I feel three is a little bit overkill. I guess you could take out card destruction in the side deck for an overload because if you're playing like Dark Worlds or something this would screw you over. Alright, so let's see. Now I'm gonna go over like the side deck options for the deck. Cause you can I side out three machine duplications for a three Cyber Phoenix. It adds more monsters to the deck. And it's another draw power card. And let's see the gold starks always stay. Dark Armed will stay, and then like I was saying, these three, out for Dakochis, which is still a dark, but it's more draw power instead of going on the machine duplication type build, yeah, that's out for Cyber Larva, still play those. Now, these three will go out, you'll play two card troopers, and that one goes out for Trapstone, and these ones will stay, Cyber Valley will stay, and uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's pretty consistent, you know. It's kind of herp derp. 
because you switch those out and you can go for a more speed build, but I kind of like the machine duplication thing with Cyber Valley. It's just good. All right, and I have been playing Cyber Dragons for a long time, and hope the people on the Cyber Dragon discussion strategies thing, whatever, like this.